I actually ended up doing my MBA here at Wharton. And so it was in my MBA that I actually first studied operations and, you know, they really could see the interest I had in the subject matter and they actually encouraged me. They talked to me about a little bit about PhD programs, the PhD programs, and uh, maybe I should consider applying if I really found the material that interesting. And so I decided that, you know, after a couple of years after my MBA to enroll in the PhD program because I, th I thought it'd be great to actually pursue research in this area because I found it so fascinating during my MBA. The big uncertainty, the big risk of a PhD program is to find one good idea to do research on. What I did, which I thought was quite helpful, uh, was to try to talk to a lot of uh, people outside uh, academia. Not always you get that same exposure to, to problems people care about. And so, you know, I did a lot of interviews, I met a lot of people in, in companies, in startups, which is primarily what I study, and, uh, and I think that, was, that played a major role in, uh, in finding uh, what I wanted to do. I've always had this interest in brands, and I was previously a lawyer, and so that kind of got me interested in how we think about brands from the legal perspective. Part of the value proposition of being an academic is I get flexibility. I get flexibility in my extracurriculars, when I want to work. Um, when I want to take vacation and that's wonderful and I think that makes me a happier person. I did an internship in a property management company and also I did another internship in a commercial bank and uh, besides that I also try to do some research related um, interns like um, research assistant for professors but those jobs are actually very basic but I can kind of get the idea that um, uh, getting a job in the academia uh, is actually more innovative and more creative uh, than a normal job in the industry. So that's why I decided to apply for a PhD degree. 